Alright guys, since you guys enjoy since you all enjoyed my review for Justice League vs. Suicide Squad uh, number one, I decided to review number two. And uh, I may do the rest of the, you know, event, depending on how I feel and everything else about it. So, yeah, I decided, yeah, I'm just going to do this. And also, since this just came out, there will be spoilers for the comic. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I'll give you guys a couple seconds to, like, back out. And, um, uh, yeah, you can read the comic and then from then on uh, come back and see the review. Okay, so if you're still here, um, that me I guess you either read the comic or you want to be spoiled. So let's talk about it. Now, this, um, unlike a lot of comics that, you know, the whole versus thing, it builds up to it. Nah, like I said in the first issue, no, they start fighting right out the gate in issue one, and, th and issue two really accentuates that. This shows Justice League versus Suicide Squad. Trust me, it delivers. And second issue I thought was pretty good. Um... This more or less is just one big fight. This is all it is, it's just the Justice League versus the fighting the Suicide Squad. And how it goes is interesting. Um, there's obviously, because the, um, the, the Suicide Squad, like I said, they know they can't beat the Justice League in a head-on fight, but Deadshot does something really smart. He actually tells them, guys, split up, because then the Justice League will have to separate and take us all on one, one at a time. So we, can, we, we can't take them on all at once, but we may have a fighting chance if we split them up. And this leads to some cool fights. Obviously, Deadshot and Batman fight. Uh, Captain, Boomerang takes, Cap, yeah, Captain Boomerang takes on uh, the Flash. Superman challenges the Enchantress. Uh, Power Ring and, and Simon Boz fight El Diablo. Aquaman and Killer Croc fight. Uh, Harley Quinn and Wonder Woman take on, uh, go at it. And Killer Frost and Cyborg fight. I think that's all the fights. Um, and yeah, there's some cool fights in here. Uh, obviously, the a lot of the Suicide Squad members are totally outclassed, but they actually take it to some of the Justice League members. Obviously, Enchantress c goes blow for blow with Superman because of her magic. Um, Wonder Woman and Har Harley actually manages to get the drop on uh, Wonder Woman, but yeah, it's Wonder Woman, so Harley, Clan has, uh, Harley Quinn has a snowball's chance in hell of beating her. And kill it. the fight between Croc and Aquaman, it goes about as well as you think for Croc. And as much as I am a big fan, obviously Killer Croc is my second favorite Batman villain, and Aquaman's one of my favorite DC heroes, so to see them fight is actually a lot of fun. Um, but it's hilarious because, and it's actually kind of smart, but it obviously Aquaman beats the shit out of Croc, but how Croc fights Aquaman is kind of smart. Um, basically... What happens is that during that fight, Aquaman summons a, kill, a great white, uh, Croc kills it, and using all the blood, he actually darkens the water so that um, Aquaman can't see temporarily through all the blood. And Wayland goes right for the arm. However, he didn't realize that Aquaman's skin is as strong as Superman's. So he ends up hurting, break, nearly breaking all of his teeth during the fight. Um, so it doesn't go so well for him. And he's like, oh, I didn't know your skin was that tough. And he's like, yeah, so's my fist. And he just rocket punches uh, Croc right out of the ocean. Um, obvious, um, so during all this, so during the fight, um, it's actually pretty cool because some of the Suicide Squad members actually take down some of the Justice League members. But yeah, the just it's the Justice League. Y did you think these guys would take them on? But I'll get to that in a moment. We cut um, real thing, real quick. I want to talk about um, what's going on with Maxwell Lord because if you remember, Maxwell Lord has assembled his own kind of Suicide Squad consisting of Lobo, the Emerald Empress, Johnny Sorrow, which surprised me, uh, Doctor Polaris, and uh, Rustor. I think that's his name. I don't know. I'm not familiar with that villain. Um, and keep in mind, this is pre-52 Lobo, and apparently they're all brought together because. Waller cheated them, cheated them all at one point or another. So I'm wondering, what did you do to piss off Lobo, Waller? And more important, you know, it's also cool to see Johnny Sorrow back because um, he's a Justice Society villain who's actually a real badass. Um, and also, they all have, uh, like I said before in, in number one, um, they all feel that kind of time shift that happened because of Dr. Manhattan. And Emerald Empress, because she says a line where she says, I have to find the Legionnaire. 
So, and we do, if you've read Justice League, Re I mean, excuse me, DC Rebirth, then you would know that Saturn Girl is in this timeline. So, why is Emperor Empress looking for Saturn Girl, and what does this mean for the rest of the Legion? I'm really curious, really interested to see how that goes. But for right now, for the past two issues, they've just been talking, and now they're like, yeah, we need to find Waller, because I'm wondering now, now that Max, it seems like Maxwell Lord and his team know what's going on, but how does this connect to, uh, to Amanda Waller is my question. But yeah, so the fight goes on, and it goes about as well as you expect for the Suicide Squad, until uh, Killer Frost, who apparently has, I never, I forgot about, either I forgot about it, or they just added this in Rebirth, that she can absorb energy. Um, so she actually gets a hold of Superman, and it amplifies her powers after absorbing some of his strength. Um, it amplifies her powers, and sh they take out the Justice League. So now the Justice League are locked up in Bel Rev, and under, you know, <coughs> excuse me, they're under Waller's thumb. She's now m going to make them part of the Justice League into a new Suicide Squad. Oh, uh, wow. Something tells me that we're not going to see a lot of Waller soon, because I feel like this event may be the end of Waller, because now you don't steal the Justice League without someone knowing, and plus you've got some of the worst people coming after you. So, I, it might be the end of Amanda Waller here. Um, but yeah, this is going to be interesting. You know, this has been really good. Again, we still got four issues, and still, this event may e could easily go sideways. But yeah, they delivered on the whole Justice League versus Suicide Squad, and they didn't make it a total shutout, but the writer, uh, the creative team behind this comic, obviously knew, yeah, there was no fucking way they could take on the, you know, the Suicide Squad to take could take on the Justice League. And also, I love the scene between, real quick, I forgot to talk about it, there's a scene between Batman and Deadshot where Deadshot says, you know, I may have been, you know, did some horrible things for my daughter, but I never made her go out and fight my own battles. What does that say about you? And I was like, oh, damn. It looks like shades, <laughs> it looks like you're you're not only good at uh, at shooting bullets, you're also good at shooting sa shade, Floyd. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, um... I'm really interested, I'm really invest- now I'm really invested in Justice League vs. Suicide Squad. And like I said, guys, I actually was not excited for this at all. I thought it was a total cash grab, which it kinda is. Um, but I was- but, yeah, I was not excited for this event at all, but after reading these two issues, yeah, I'm- I'm kinda in. <laughs> but then again, you know, we still got four issues left, so this could easily go sideways easily, so, yeah. But in the meantime, uh, you guys tell me, uh, what did you guys think of Justice League vs. Suicide Squad number two? Did you guys like it? Did you guys hate it? Um, what do you think Maxwell Lord and his team are going to do now that the Justice League and the Suicide Squad's kind of beat the sh got the shit beat out of them? So uh, how do you think that's going to go down? And what do you think, um, what do you think their connection to Waller is? Just, uh, just comment below, let me know. Once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later.